Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyperheims, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Oven Break. So, I was on the verge to go ahead and just record that good old dandy new butter squid cookie. Pleb it is butter squid, not butter octopus. Yeah, that's true. It's butter squid. I was on the verge of going ahead and like, oh, well, I'm going to record this. I'm going to go ahead and quickly edit it so I can get it ready and recorded for the morning so everyone can enjoy it and everyone can start enjoying new content that Kick Your Run is offering with the new Kingdom update and the new Oven Break update. However, Oven Break's just like, no, 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 you ha you get no time to do that because you know what you're doing instead? You're doing this stupid time trial for Pyro Cookie. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Pyro Cookie, but why you gotta force me to do a plumbing time trial? I already wasted 15 minutes and, which by the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this like without the costume because I don't think I'll be needing it, but uh, we're, we're just gonna have to go ahead and do it anyway, which by the way, I can level you up without even using crystals, so I'm just gonna do that anyway. And also the pet, let's just check. I can upgrade you basically two times, which I'm gonna add in and let's throw in, no, I'll use crystals though, but we'll throw in an extra level seven. So now we have a level eight pirate and a level seven bomb. Cause we definitely need to upgrade our plumbing bombs. But with that being said, our main goal is just to try and get diamond rank with Pyrokiki Shroud within the main, within the time attack task. Which if you don't know what time attack is, let me show you by clicking this. As you can see here, the time attack event is open. So basically this means you just need to reach diamond rank in this cookie's trial. And when that happens, you get an extra 1000 crystal, which is pretty good because let's be honest, the main rewards that you just get here are just gems and without the cookie cup, uh, it's just a basic amount of gems. But at diamond rank, you do get uh, a 1500 crystal. So if you do that, and you also get the uh, loot and rewards or whatever employment you can call it for the time attack, that's 2500 crystals right there, which is pretty good. So we may as well talk about who Pyro Kiki even is. And of course, we're still going to do our two casual runs where one is going to be the one without the magic candy and one is going to be the one or one is going to be the run with the magic candy. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's get to read up on Pyro Kiki's story real quick. Seaweed obtained from the roughest and deepest ocean was dried, powdered, and then added into the dough. Wine or rum is a must if you wish to get rid of the ocean, uh, the oceany odor, but don't use too much or you'll be left with a bitter taste instead. In his travels, Pyro Kiki has learned a miraculous ability to revive as a ghost after death. In his ghostly form, Pyro Kiki walks through obstacles, but alas, is unable to pick up any energy potions. You know, it's kind of weird because that just, that's, it kind of goes to show how old, like, Pyro Cookie's more of a veteran cookie, in my opinion, where they've, they were released relatively early into the game, and it kind of shows you that, hey, this is part of their story, and this is part of what they do. They can turn into a ghost, but they can't pick up energy potions, which is pretty sweet, but... I don't know, it's pretty interesting. Will there be any difference when reading a skill? Summons his pirate ship at certain intervals. The ship fires cannonballs to destroy obstacles and create ghost coins. After running out of energy, Pirate Kiki will revive himself as a ghost pirate one time. As a ghost pirate, he can pass through all obstacles but cannot collect energy potions. Level up for more points for ghost coins and more starting energy in ghost pirate form. Pirate Kiki can magnetically collect pirate coins that appear in the black shirt pirate ship. Okay, so that magnetism is going to be pretty good to uh, run if I if if that ever level if the, if the level ever appears again. Who cares? Uh, who knows? Uh, who why? <laughs> anyway, let's also talk about the pet, which is the classic giggle bomb. But let's be honest, that's that's the face of a bomb that you would not want to mess with. And according to the story of this giggle bomb, it says, "Watch out, because this one lets out little farts." <laughs> well, they were little at first, but now they are pretty big. Boom! Feel the firepower of giggle bomb? Don't stand too close. You probably won't like the smell. That is just nasty. These are, they're just straight up gas bombs, which to be fair, with how they look, they would definitely be the type of bomb to like fart and blame it on someone else. I'm just being honest. And according to the skill, causes explosions at certain intervals, creating items and coins. Level up more points for silver coins. So it just blows up everything. Simplistic, but also effective. Why the plug not? Now also, uh, yes, he does have an associated treasure being the ion microchip. I don't know why it's associated, but it's associated with pirate cookie, sandwich cookie, and pizza cookie. Why those three? I have no clue, but according to the story of this thing, smart technology has swept the cookie world. High performance contained within the smallest of treasures. That That's why it's associated with pirate cookie. The smallest of treasures. There we go. Alright, and according to the skill of this thing, it says, creates microchip jellies at certain intervals. Once you have collected 1,000 coins during a run, the treasure will spend 1,000 coins to initiate its self-improved protocol. The self-improved protocol continues during the run until it can no longer be upgraded. Points earned are multiplied according to the current upgrade phase while running level up points for more- wait. Oh, while running. Uh, level, up, uh, level up for more points for each level of microchip jelly. So, it keeps on getting more points until it, like, caps out. And that's also why it's associated with Pyro Cookie, because it needs coins. Which I guess sandwich and pizza cookie also need coins because, you know, 
They, they run restaurants. It makes sense. So whatever. So also, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, not follow that first copy, at least for this first run. We're just going to do a bit of a test run. I'm going to I'm gonna show off that treasure. He's going to be pretty fast with that plebbing, uh, e like extra hot motor and also those skate shoes. But whatever. Let's go ahead and get this done. Just do a basic run, then get the magic candy all sorted. Now, let me tell you, uh, before I ever start recording this, which, oh yeah, look at that ship just firing all those bullets. Got a slight amount of magnetism, which... Pirate Kiki, Pirate Kiki has a neat sound. This, this is a straight up neat sound. Sheesh. Did that need to... I gotta be honest. I, I know I mail and... and may, did it look like I threw? Yes, I basically threw. And the reason why I threw is because I wanted to make sure the recording was on. Because I looked up in the corner, I was like, is the light on? It's recording me, right? Even though I did do a test recording and it was on. But I, I just, I could never be too sure. I always get paranoid about that stuff. But don't worry, this will be the official, non-official run this time. Because only the official run will happen if we actually get, you know, the, the magic candy done. Now you may be wondering, why not just get the magic candy done immediately? What the pl- Okay. I, I'm so confused. I missed so many jellies, but I didn't know how that was supposed to be formatted. I, I guess we're just, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna get those coins though, because they're gonna be pretty viable. Do not hit me. How dare you? I do not. Who's chucking those swords at me? Look, look at the fa- Oh, that's sad. I literally was about to point out, man, look at those swords. They have faces on them. And the immediate next sword that I see has its face literally chopped off, just like the ones that were just in front of me. Like, if that's not depressing, I have no idea what is. Like, that's just sad. Like, imagine, like, being next to your friend who is also... A Okay, thank you, Pirate Ship, for destroying that. These jumps are kind of tricky, I'll have to admit. This is definitely not going to be the easiest trial, in my opinion. But uh, it's definitely going to be one that fits the attitude of pirates. So, honestly, that's the best thing that you can give this plumbing cookie. Really good attitude and fits the theme. Oh, yeah, just run and then slide. And then hit that and then hit that. We get all that and I'm back. <laughs> that's terrifying. Uh, what are those? Like little cars? I don't know. I know that's a boat below me, obviously. But what, the, what were the plumbers, uh those jelly shapes. Really odd. And now that thing is just exploding all towards me, which I guess it's fine. It's just kind of hard because it obstructs my view of, you know, where all the plumbing jellies are going, which that's the one thing I don't like about explosions. I love myself some explosions. But, oh. Mwah. Gotta love it. Also, you also gotta love the fact that, uh, oh, look at all those gold coins, baby. Uh, you also gotta love that, uh, the background with all the hot air balloons. It has, uh, you know, the, actually, they look like pirates. They got little eye patches. It's so sweet. I love that. It's a small detail. And it also has a sorbet shark's little, uh, you know, shark of the sea theme or whatever the club is called. Now we got to start going. But even after all this, uh, we're still going to be able to run because, you know, we got that spooky ghost mode. Though, unfortunately, uh, we won't be able to uh, get any energy potions, which does suck. So really, just I thought I hit that for a moment. I'm not even joking. This is going to be a little bit more easier once I actually, uh, you know, turn into a ghost because guess what? Obstacles aren't going to matter to me now. So I could just focus on just getting all these jellies and swords be plubbed. I'm not going to give a single care in the world. I didn't get... Oh, yeah. I was about to say. I was like, well, why didn't I get that potion? And I was like, oh, yeah, because I'm a ghost. I, I'm just real with it. Uh, but Okay, wait, where do we... We're at, uh, surprisingly, we're close to Ruby 3. Uh, honestly, collecting all these, we can actually probably get it. No, but we're close. Uh, if only we just had a little bit more energy... Uh, it would be possible, but maybe that, huh, now I'm trying to think, maybe that magic candy, uh, really does make a difference. It depends. We're only at Emerald 1, so maybe a big difference can be made, depending on how many points we get. We also complete a mission, so why the plug not? We may as well just collect those. Thank you very much. It's just silver sugar powder, or silver magic powder, so, so, sugar crystals, what am I saying? It, it wasn't even silver, what the heck? Uh, but whatever, we're just gonna go back, and now, I think it's time for us to make that sweet flipping magic candy, which we also... We can get a bonus mission done. I'll take that. Back when bonus missions were cool. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a sweet magic candy. I'm going to need 40 of your ingredients. Just crack that up. Crank that like it's a person who makes music who's also trying to rip off Nintendo. Uh, good, old, good old times. Uh, bam, bam, bam. And there we go. I don't know how that would taste, but I guarantee you it would taste like the sea and moist wood. I know that's really weird for me to say, but it just it feels like it would taste like moistened wood. 461 points for all coins? Sure. And according to the skill of this, it states, creates additional ghost coins with a pirate ship. The stronger the enchanted power, the more coins are created. 
And you know what? Can't really be mad about that. And just in case, I'm going to go ahead and slap some of these on you. Just give you a tiny bit of an upgrade at level 9. So, maybe we'll be able to do this. Just in case, I am actually going to put on these. Because, hey, it gives me a better chance of getting diamond rank on this. So, let's crack this open one more time. And maybe we can be the absolute best pirates known to man. Uh, how many more? Oh, I think the, uh, the blue ones are going to be the extra coins that we get. And, hey, if it helps me get points, then it helps me get points. I'll take whatever I can get. Thank you very much. So now let's collect all these potions, which also just in case the extra energy, uh, the extra level that I decided to get for Pyro Cookie was just so uh, if I had a little bit more extra energy and I can actually get like a potion, uh, not in ghost form, because if that were to be the case, then that means, well, I would not be able to get, oh, I can also get the speed up thing too. So that also played a big factor into it. I missed that last time. So this is going to be a more, um, even, um, an even more improved run, most likely, which I'm not going to be mad about at all. As long as I can get everything down to the very last movement thing, which I'm not sure if it makes sense, but it, it, it may not, it, it won't make sense to the audience, but sure, it does sure as plug make sense to me. So, plug me, let's get this rolling like it's a ball, and specifically like it's a cannonball. I don't know if what y'all prefer. I don't know if y'all prefer uh, Captain Ice or Pirate, because I gotta be honest, I go for both. Like, both of them have their priorities, and uh, I, I like both of their stories. I'm hoping that uh, maybe they make an update for Kingdom one day where they're bringing back uh, Captain Ice and Pirate in the same update. And uh, maybe it'll be like, kind of like a Tropical Soda Islands like part two. I, I know it kind of sounds weird when I say it like that, but uh, just some seed sort of update that doesn't revolve around like Black Pearl Cookie or anything like that. It would be pretty interesting to... Uh, did I miss that popcorn bucket? If I did, then that sucks. But it would be, it would be pretty cool to see like interaction between like Pirate Cookie and also Captain Caviar. Or more, more, more. With that being said, more like it to be uh, Captain Caviar and Captain Ice, because you know, well, they're both captains, and honestly, they both have sailed many of the seas, most likely seven of them. So whatever. We're, are we already? We're, okay, I was about to say I thought we were already at Ruby already. I was shocked, but no, we are just getting close though. I guess I'll go down here. I don't know what's the most optimal path here. I think I'm not taking the most optimal one, but I'm still trying my best. Uh, I guess I'll go down here, get some of the gold, get as many gold as I can, at least any of the big coins. All right, go, 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 Gert. Man, who, I can go for some Gogurt right now. It just seems like plumbing delicious. Like, I mean, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of Gogurt, but when I had it, I was just like, mmm, nothing beats this. Aside from, like, actual yogurt, which, to be fair, I know, like, everyone is, like, hyped around, like, you, yeah, you take the yogurt. And you carry it with you. I know what you're saying. Like, am I trying to act like I was never a child? Well, no, I've had Gogurt before. I love it. But, like, you compare it to what... I'm sorry, I just had to do... Oh, wait, 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 huh? Oh, wait. Oh, was the... Wait, wait, was it the egg? I revived. I think it was the egg. I think it was the egg that revived me. I was about to say, what the fuck happened? I thought, I like... I was good. I thought I was going to turn to a ghost and I wouldn't have been able to get that potion. It was... I would have been so sad. But, apparently, we're fine? At least for right now. But uh, hey, we're about to breach our plebin, uh Ruby rank. Okay, there we go. All we need is just a little bit more points. Oh, we even got an extra blast. Okay, so right as we enter spook mode, we now get diamond. Plebin perfect. And that's literally right as my phone did a bug too, where if you're wondering, sometimes, I don't know if it's oven break or my phone or whatever, it does a thing called a uh, ghost touch, where sometimes it's like, hey, you know how you're running right now? Yeah, guess what? You're not. And, like, it disables for, like, one whole second. And I know a second doesn't seem like much, but in uh, but when it comes to oven break, oh, one second is a lot of time. I know I didn't jump right there, but I was just kind of being careful. <laughs> didn't want to get... Why do I need to be careful? I'm a ghost. I don't, I don't need to get hit. I can't get hit. What am I saying? Doesn't matter. What we primarily wanted was we got diamond rank at over 250 million points. And guess what? We came... We claimed it, we conquered it, and we got it, and we also conquered the time attack event for an extra 1,000 crystals, which I'm going to take that. And we also got things saying beyond the rough seas, which we got diamond rank in all of one region, which I'll take this, by the way. And uh, I'll give a quick gander at that. Maybe we can see our whole completed region. Please see. L please, let me see it. There we go. We have pirate, we have squid ink, and we have salt. Where the fuck is sor where's, where's sorbet? Oh, wait, okay, over there. So, all of, we just need peppermint, and then that one can be completed, too. I think I know who uh, I'm going to be focusing a video on next, but let's just go ahead and end this off by getting all of these sweet gems, these sweet rewards, and especially those trial XP candy things.
Perfect. 877. We are so close to 900. So plebbing and close. And I guarantee you we can make it if we just do a couple more of these. And oh, this is going to be so good. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end the video right here because I need to go ahead and rush edit not only this, which I don't need to edit this immediately, but I need to go ahead and edit that butter squid cookie video. So if you enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker on content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on YouTube set for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't know only seeing my normal YouTube channel, but above all else, I will see you and Diddy's and Guardians in the next video. Heal the hype needs.